Hello everyone, Abdul Muksit here with another tutorial on Croco Block Jet Engine. Today we will discuss how you can build your own notification system in Jet Engine. So let's start. Alright, so I have made few slides. We need to discuss it before proceeding. Uh, I need to show you how it works actually. So the first slide explain how we connect the cct with the user table usually in wordpress we have a user table where we have id of the user username email display name and some other field what we will do we will take one extra field one extra meta field called notifications what we will do in this notification field we will save the ids the ids of cct which are notifications we will save it here as a comma separated value or array so whenever someone publish or administration administrator publish a notification a new cct we will use a hook to push the id of cct to all user tables okay so this is step number one step number two is reading if you don't need read recept it's fine you can use this system till here if you want the read recept that whenever a user click here and they click on read right now we have three the one which was read is gone okay so if you need this functionality then you have to use this methodology also so what happens once we click here it takes the id of the cct in this case for example four it goes to the system and check in the user currently logged in user and check whether we have four or not we have four here one four five six so what the code does it read the array it find the element in array for example 4 it remove and then reinsert the new value in your user meta field so in this case if i click here it will take 4 it will remove 4, four from here and the final value will be 156 instead of 1456 then the next part is to display them so what we will do we will use query builder uh, let me show you here we will use query builder to fetch the cct from the current user meta so it was a flow we will start from here now this tutorial is different than the other here i will explain to you the scenario the flow the system is already built because we are working on a production website so i don't want to mess with things let's start from here first step is insertion we need to insert the notification so first step is we need to create user meta called notification go to your dashboard and we will click on jet engine meta boxes here we have user meta in user meta you need to create a new field text field called notifications here we will save the ids of the cct okay after we create user meta we need to create cct with one field only go to your dashboard and jet engine custom content type or cct and you click on notifications here this is the name of the cct and we need only one field notification which will save the information this information this one okay now five hour, five hours ago and other information are built in in cct okay so item author created date modified date and status these are predefined so we don't need to create it again and again okay so notification is done step number three is create a jet form with two fields which will insert cct and create a hook okay so what it does we will go to jet form builder add notification to user this is the name of my form okay so we have three fields here notification it's a visvic editor you can take a text area you can take text whatever you want but why i want to have a formatted text maybe i have it here okay so here you can see bold italic underline that's why i took visvic and send via email if you want to send this notification with email to your users you can check this box also i will show you the code later on in jet form if you scroll down we have three actions here okay first action insert cct so what is the name of our cct notification the status is published and in notification detail we need to save the content of visvec editor okay we will not touch anything else that's it cancel we have one redirect we have hook now what what hook does 
the name of the hook is send notification and this is the hook syntax which i will show you in snippet we will go to code snippet and i will open send notification now why we use hook there are certain reason due to which we are using hook if certain action cannot be performed here we will use hook okay so here i have the hook this is the code for this hook okay uh, it start from here it get the cct id this is by default whenever you insert a cct it is giving you the last id of inserted inserted cct here okay so this is the last id the the cct id of notification email notify this is a check box if it is check send email if it is not check don't send email and this is notification details okay what we will do we will fetch all user in our wordpress database okay using this function it is fetching all user then we have a for each loop which will check all user we get the user id which will we will be using for updating the notification meta field and we are using user email which will be used for email okay so we got these two values now what we will do we will check the old meta value what is inside so for example we have inside 1456 four values okay so here it will check the four values we take a new meta field uh, a new variable which is empty it will check if the cct is coming for the first time there is no comma there is no value then you have to insert the value directly if there is comma you have to add the old value with a new cct id okay and we are putting it back in new value variable so that's how this insertion will work the next step is to check if a user click on send email the administration click on send email you have to send an email to the users okay hello this is a notification in the system and we will use header to send an html from this website and we will use wp user function so it will send to the user last we need to update the user meta with the new value this is the new value okay so before we had one four five six one four five now we got another cct which is number six so it will insert at the end okay that's how this hook works now this is done the next step is to display and read the cct okay step number one is design a single cct for notification we will go to our dashboard jet engine listing here we will click on single notification edit with elementor this is the notification okay so we have the created date of cct and it is converted to human readable and i have just added a go so it shows five hours ago and this is the content or in other word notification okay now the tricky part is we have this tick icon on the right side this is actually a dynamic field okay and it has the value of item id okay item id means cct id but you cannot see it because i make the color white okay if i change it here you can see 24 this is id of this field okay so once we click here the jquery is sending a request to php to remove this id from the user table here we have this id okay one four five six so from from here it should send four or five or seven once it reach to the php it will check an array if there is it will remove okay now in order to in order the jquery work with this code you have to assign a class to this element okay i will show you in the code now the next step is to use i think drop bar okay uh, insert a drop bar in header okay now we will close it and let's go back to header
in header we have two drop bar one we are using for explore and the second is used for notification okay so i will click here this is drop bar in drop bar i am showing query result count of cct that's why it is showing me three okay this is the same query we are using to fetch the cct okay i will show you the query also in drop bar we have three types of displaying data you can display plain text you can have a visvec editor or you can have a template so what we did we created a template good template and here we have system notification uh, no not this one it should be section not page okay here we have section click here and here you can see the cct okay single notification we design a CC, uh, we design a listing for this cct then we include it in this section and we call the section in drop bar okay in drop bar we have two modes uh, i think we have hover and we have click so i made it hover you can adjust the sizing from here also and you can adjust the layout from here now the next step is jquery code so if i click here in the section here i have jquery code okay so what's happening here we have this icon fa check circle it's from font awesome okay on the right side we have uh, we have this icon okay in jquery we check each time someone click on this icon you have to find jet listing dynamic field content and get the value of cct okay and we put this in cct id next we run a jquery ajax request a post request to admin ajax okay in php and the name of the function is get data and what we are sending to data is the cct id only now once we push the cct id from here let's check the code we fetch the data in new meta value and then we check it against the current user we check all the previous value and we compare it with the new value so if four or five is here in this array we use array diff functionality which will remove the current element from array and then updating the user meta again let's discuss the query builder what we have in query go to jet engine and click on query builder here we will check our query show user notification so what is the query here we need to fetch custom content type and the type is notification and you can have a status of anything in the field in the where class you have to mention field id okay and in the compare you need to click on in the list in the list is used for checking value in comma separated field okay and what we need to check we need to get the current user meta which is notification okay and in this case it is returning three now we will go to the administration section and here i have a page it's built with profile builder we have something called system notifications for now i will i will not use okay anyway i can control it from front end so we have one two three notification here it shows three notification i will send a test notification let's go back and check in administration the user profile uh, where is user user okay user profile right now i have three values here in notification 22 23 24 okay these are cct ids i will send a test notification send now now here i can see four okay hello we are sending a test notification one second ago if i refresh my profile here i have one two three four now okay let's refresh the page and i will go and click on this one and now i have three let's check the profile 
25 is gone let me read another one and another one is gone let's go back to dashboard and system notification we need to have some formatting bold i want it italic and let's send okay here you can see there is italic and there is bold i hope you like this tutorial it's a bit complicated you have to check it again and again uh, but what i will do i will share a blog post in my website and i will share the code and everything with you so you can implement it easily if you have any problem you can write in the comments thank you so much